Hi, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, today I am going to explain uh, frequently asking question in uh, interviews. Explain your project. Explain Spring MVC flow. Tell me about your uh, project flow. How it is working. So this, uh, if you are working in the Spring uh, MVC based application, whatever uh, I am going to give it and you can get understand it so that you can able to get explained to them. So Spring MEC are your project, whichever the project you are working, you are following the MEC based uh, uh, framework like model view and controller. What is model? What is view? What is controller? So, in our uh, diagram, if you go and see here, the, the controller is dispatcher link. The controller is dispatcher link. The view V means view, whatever the view presentation, how you want to uh, look and feel. Model means whatever that service layer and DO layer, these whole things we can say as a model. So, this is the way the Spring MVC they come up with uh, the model and view and controller. These are the three different uh, parts. So, main thing is here we can able to develop the things reusable way and also maintainability and also we can uh, control the flow how the request and uh, the single entry point access by using dispatch select so that is the way they come up with in this the spring mec framework they come up with some kind of uh, classes interfaces some configuration it's kind of semi finished kind of application so that we are customizing how you want to make it build our application. They come up with the dispatcher solid, they come up with the handle mapper, they come up with the view resolver and some kind of a model and view. So these are the, the components they come up with. Suppose I am implementing for uh, uh, like e-commerce application, I can use it same way and I can go with the uh, UI pages space dispatcher solid, handle mapper the e-commerce basis i'll have on um, control class like login and uh, cart and product and uh, uh, login service and uh, product service and uh, login do product do and order do so according to that it will be a database and uh, the result will be written this is the way it will come up coming to here this i am explaining what are the parts will be there in our spring mac base application what are the things and also here you have to be clearly understanding few things one thing is dispatch select how many boxes here I have to make it only one box and handle mapper only one you also you result also one box these are the classes these are the the classes will be coming as part of the spring framework so whatever the control class i make it in multiple boxes so this uh or we are going to implement it as part of the developer when you are implementing our flow. You can say like, uh, are you going to implement handle map? No, we are using as part of the Spring Framework handle mapper. Are you going to implement dispatcher? No, we are going to use it Spring Framework dispatcher select class. View result? No, this is provided by the Spring based uh, uh, configuration uh, uh, class that we are using. So controller test, I am going to write the control class and service classes, DO classes, view also we are going to. So this is the way you can get understand first things. Next thing is how the request flow will be going from Spring MEC based application. From the browser, the request will be coming to the dispatch alert. First request will be what about the request. So let's take an example, slash API slash login. The request will be coming to the dispatch alert, login, URI basis. It will take the help of the handler mapper based on the handler mapper. Like we have our uh, multiple uh, handler mappers, like we name uh, handler mapper, the control name, and uh, uh, URL handler mapper. Based on the URL which is mapped to the uh, slash API slash login, it will the help of the URL uh, handler mapper basis. It will identify the URL which is mapped to the control class. So it will be identified by the the login controller which is mapped with the slash a page slash login so that the request will be going to the login controller 
So from that, what we can do is request will be, uh, uh, we are going to call with the service layer. We are going to call with the service layer as a business method. So here we are doing the business logic. From that, we are going to call to the DO layer, login, DO class will be called. From that, I am going to attack database and uh, fetching the details and that will return to the service layer. As per the business logic we have, that will be written to the, the controller. Controller, whatever the result we got it, it will be written as a model and view object to the dispatch layer. The model, whatever the response we got it, that is a model object, view. View is a now, what is the, uh, the resultant page you want to display that view name. So that combination of object will be written, that is called as model and view object. So it will be coming to the dispatch layer. Dispatch layer will be identify the view with the help of the view resolver. So view resolver, what are the view name we are passing like a, like a, uh, a welcome uh, uh, page. So there it is located into the slash uh, uh, JSP folder under JSP. Uh, we have one welcome dot JSP. So prefix is uh, slash JSP suffix is dot uh, um, uh, JSP. So and that the JSP folder under uh, the welcome dot JSP, I have to be uh, identified. Prefix and suffix uh, will be internal uh, internal resource view resolver with the help of the thing. We can get identify the view in the view layer that will be displayed in the results. So this is the way our flow will be working like that. You can explain. So you can also take it any other uh, project like uh, I have a uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, telecom based project and the user is searching for uh, 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 plan details so uh, like uh, uh, data plan so request will be coming to the dispatch and take the help of the helm mapper to find the data plan controller from that it will be calling to the data plan service uh, service to data plan do you will be calling from that will be intact database fetching the data plan details for the customer and uh, uh, as per the uh, business logic and the service uh, that will return to the controller from control, we are going to uh, render the model view object to the dispatcher, take the help of the view resolver, identify the view, display the results in the way. This is the way our system works like that. You can explain so that you can get a uh, 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 good opinion on you, like he has some basic understanding of uh, how uh, to work an application so that it will be uh, easy uh, them to get you whether you have one. Uh, good knowledge and the spring MSU flow. Okay. If you like it, please like it, please share it and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.